Hello, this is Brian with CH53 Gamer. Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And we're going to play as Daniel Jackson, the Jedi Padawan. Here we go. All right, we are at Dantooine. So we're getting aboard the Ebon Hawk, and we're going to go to the star map. Uh, to the, yeah, the star map up here, the star maps, whatever it's called. The, uh, oh, come here we go. The galaxy map, that's what I'm looking for. The star map is what we are looking for. Galaxy map is what is on board the Ebon Hawk to, to have us go on to our various destinations. All right, galaxy map. We are looking for Kashyyyk. I think I have decided, I don't think, I know I have decided to go to Kashyyyk today. Because Kashyyyk should be the next planet because there's somebody there that I want. And there we go, flying off into space. And we skipped. We did not get the Attack by Fighters cutscene, which is good. Go into hyperspace. Right there. And then we have a cutscene. Ah, the Sith. Need the exposition to know what they're doing. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still Did Karth really Republic. assist you us, though? I, I mean, was he heavily mental. involved? Interesting. I don't remember him How being there all that much. This information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. He pretty much got us to the Undercity, and that was kind of it. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there oh, when Bastila and Karth guy. escaped the planet. He really is short, Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Sending a Lord bounty Malak, hunter after me, a Jedi? Is that a wise decision? Maybe have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers. I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. And we've arrived at the Dantooine system. And of course we have to have a dream when we get there. And we're still waiting on the dream to start. Still waiting on the dream to start. There it goes. Bioware is not always just going to your time. But it's still an awesome game and a great company. All right, well, here we go again. It appears that the game will play Star Wars music on an approach to a planet. So I had to silence it for copyright purposes. But here we are arriving at Kashyyyk, and we will do so in wonderful copyrighted silence. Takes a minute to start. The force is giving us a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The force is strong with us both. Kashyyyk is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. It looked like the star map was on the forest 
It look, yeah, on the fourth floor. The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay, so this game came out well before episode three. So they're talking about the Wookiees living only in the trees and not knowing about the forest floor at all, or as uh, in episode three, it clearly shows them on the ground. So, whatever. Retconned. I was checking our supplies at the cargo hold. Something's not right. Not right? What do you mean? Someone's been into the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone, but no one knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores the next time you're in the cargo hold. All right, we will do that later. Journal entry added. That's for the uh, missing food. Okay, so let's head out here. Uh, let's take Mission and Zalbar. We are on Kashyyyk. It makes sense to take Zalbar. Uh, we didn't see you. Er, while I am pleased to welcome you to planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerka Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a 100 credit docking fee and command site here. And of course, it's more than peace. Uh, let's see here. Um, docking fee. Why do I need to pay that? The outpost is remote and expensive to maintain. The 100 credits given will ensure that it remains here. For your use, of course. Upon collection of the correct fee, I will extend what resources the Circa Corporation can offer. I am sure you understand. Let's go with... Um, is the price negotiable? Very simply put, no. Operation of these remote outposts is an expensive endeavor. Let's go with, uh, Persuade Lie. I represent a wealthy clients. You should let me pass. Success! Normally I wouldn't do this, but I don't feel like arguing. I'll consider a promise of future business payment enough. I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I assume you understand our language? For a fee, Zerka Corporation can provide a translator for you during your visit. Uh, that will not be necessary. Very well, though only the most adept of people can comprehend the Wookiee language, such as it is. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will answer any further questions there. Okay, um, first off, let's, let's get Zalbar up. Yes, let's do that. Alright, Zalbar, let's see, strength, he's gonna go to 21. Skills, he's gonna go to treat injury and then computer use, accept. Implant level 3 for free, level up, skills, treat injury, couple to computer use, feats, get that two weapon fighting up, accept, and should be the last level up, get a treat injury, get that computer use up to 10, accept, perfect. Alright, let's see, what are we going to give him as far as weapons go? Uh, he has a strength, and he's losing a dexterity, let's see, hold on, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we'll give him a dexterity, and we'll give him a strength, perfect, excellent. Myself, what do I have? I need to get these better strength amplifiers. Perfect, yes. Okay, anyway, uh, he can't use that, can't use that. We'll give him the uh, adrenaline amplifier, and we'll give him the vibro double blade. Yes. We'll give him a vibro, perfect. All right, that is all set up for Zalbar. Now, uh, I'm sure. not going to follow that guy because he talks Hatties, and I can't stand Hatties, so I'm just going to go do my thing. I know what to do <laughs> next without having to get exposition from a game that just doesn't respect your time as far as languages go. And I've never taken two hits, so I have, I'm probably, I'm not gonna say never, but you don't normally take two hits to get into a, uh, a crate like that. Okay, so we're walking on. Um, there was a merchant on the docking platform. I skipped him. Exposition time. Kashyyyk, my home. I should have prepared, prepared you for coming here. I don't know if I'll have prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashyyyk voluntarily. Mission must have told you how I was fleeing slavers, but there was more. I am in exile. The slavers of Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped and my father did not believe him when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, dissolved by my own home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad. I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a Wookiee. Our claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battle is to become an animal. It is madness without honor. I am forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. 
We'll deal with that when we have to. Let's go. Mm. I don't have much hope. All right, so that's Zalbar. Turns out he's what they call a mad claw because he attacked people because they were slavers. You know, he's kind of justified in his anger, but hey, that's just me. All right. These guys are a side quest. Let's talk to them. Matt and DeSaul. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your increase to me. Matton is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. All right, let's talk to this guy then. Eli Gant. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. L -O -L. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Uh, let's see here. Do you always enslave your debtors? Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Do your debtors have a habit of running off? Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. How much debt buys a man's life? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have no business with you. I'll be going. See you soon, I hope. Always open. All right, we can check him his inventory out later and buy some stuff. Uh, let's see. So taking a right will let us talk to that guy who speaks nothing but Hatti. So I really don't want to do that. But I am going to come in here and get the stuff out of the foot locker. And these two lockers over here. There's two crates right there. I'll get those two. Yep, got some stuff. Uh, get this guy. Got some stuff. Always get some stuff. Excellent. Uh, I'm not going to talk to this guy real quick. I just wanted to come see this. Yep. Oh, there's a spot. Oh, well, this is more important than looking at the enslaved wookie, of course, because, you know, inventory. All that jazz. All right, here we go. This is what we're up against. An enslaved wookie in a cage. Zerka. Zerka will pay for what they've done. Although, you know, light side, dark side game. Obviously, want to beat you over the head with it. Light side is to help free the slaves. Dark side is to help the slavers. Because, yeah, you can do that in this game. That's just the kind of game it is. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookie hunters usually keep numbers down. But I think they leave certain areas infested. Just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't want to talk to you much more than this. I'm going past you. I paid the landing fee. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. What a pleasant guy you are. All right, so into the Great Walkway. And immediately get into combat, naturally. All right, let's hit the um, night speed. Yes, and now hit Master Flurry. At the same time, Zalbar, you are not engaging, so we'll have you just do a regular attack. And Mission, you're not engaging either, so we'll have you do a regular attack. And everyone's doing regular attacks except me, yes. Master Flurry. Perfect. All right. Okay. Excellent. Got a hit. Got a hit. Let's go ahead and get Master Flurry going. Master Flurry's going perfect. Everyone's hit. Except Zalbar. He's hurt. Of course he's hurt. Why wouldn't he be hurt? All right, let's give him a couple of cures. Oh, he's gonna need a lot of cures. All right, so Zalbar's hurt. 
Uh, we'll see how we can do without healing him up. Can you sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells. I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. The walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. What can I expect to encounter? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's been so long since I left. I only know the way things were, and many things may have changed. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if I will be a help or a hindrance to you here. My father is very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings are mellowed, but if my brother has had his ear all this time, I may be very unwelcome. We'll deal with that when the time comes. That is what I am dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten on some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry, I've taken enough of your time. We should press on. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna go this way. Another this little encounter to take care of. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. My name is Daniel Jackson. What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. You put it down? We're not animals. Yeah, you get it, Zalbar. Zalbar, let me handle this. But their disregard for the life of this Wookiee is too much. I have asked you to let me handle this. Honor my request. I will do so, for your sake, not theirs. Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Let's see. Do your superiors approve of you killing Wookiees? Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Let's see. I won't allow you to enslave or kill another Wookiee. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? Okay, I could try to go to Persuade Route and end this peacefully, but you know what? I don't want to end this peacefully. This guy is a slaver. It's not murder to kill slavers. It doesn't matter. You won't enslave another Wookiee. What? Blasters ready, men. This fool wants to die. All right, here we go. Let's go with uh, the control Captain Denno. I'll hit a knight speed. Okay, he's got that. I got some light side points. Uh, Zalbar, I too want you to attack control Captain Denno. Perfect. And mission, control Captain Denno. Because that's just what we're going to do today. All right, now myself. Back here, and now let's see, Control Captain Denno, where are you? Patrol Captain Denno, there you are. Let's hit him. There we go, come on. Boom, got him, more experience points. And the next one, and that one. One more. They're all dead. There we go, all right, mission. Yeah? Let's save this game, and you're gonna collect some mines. All right, mission's going forward. Let's see, the mine, recover mine. Perfect. And... Recover mine. Perfect. Sure. And me, it's time to loot the remains. Oh, a Zerka Corp resource ID. That might be useful. Some stuff. And that's it. Okay. Now, let's get around Zalvar. And let's take care of this healing situation. Okay, the healing situation involves sitting there and slowly rehealing myself with the force and allowing the force to regenerate. I didn't allow it to regenerate all the way this time. Uh, I probably should have because we're just going to have to do that again, attacking the next group of Kinrats without some force to help me out. Oh, there we go. We're attacking. We're fighting. They found us. All right. Forest Stalker Kinrats. Let's do this. And I got a little bit hurt. That's fine. Come on, D2. Don't miss. There we go. Oh, experience. Off to the next thing. We're going to do a jump attack. We missed for some reason. I don't know why we missed. Probably because we didn't to jump properly. All right, now we're going to do this one. And still didn't the entire time because the force didn't have enough force powers. All right, here we go. Come on, cure. All right, here we go. And we'll do that all over again. All right, so we're all healed up. The force will slowly regenerate over time. And uh, 
you cannot, in this section of the map, return to the Ebonhawk to instantly refill yourself. That's why we're having to just wait. We could walk back to the Ebonhawk, but that would take a long time. All right, that was a jump attack, and I'll turn with Master Floor. I don't have enough force power to use Master Floor, so if I was really serious about this, I would uh, wait till the force was recharged to continue fighting. All right, All right, there we go. Now let's do this one. And let's hit him with a regular attack, do a jump attack. Okay, he's not jumping. Oh, it's because there was one right there. Messed everything up. All right, we'll disengage. We'll engage this close one. And then we'll hit him with a bunch of uh, Master Flurries. All right, here we go. Perfect. All set of stuff. All missed. Come on. Deep. There we go. Master, master Flurry, Master Flurry, Master Flurry. Four hits in. All set of Master Flurries. Every time, Master Flurry. Another one, and get the last ones right there. And they're all dead. And everyone's hurt, and the force is reduced. Fine, whatever. Alright, got all that stuff. Perfect. Put the lightsaber away. Let's go talk to this guy real quick. Get some exposition, of course. Always get exposition. Uh. Rar, you will not permit it to pass into the Shadowlands. Only Chundar may allow you entry. Especially when you bring filth such as this with you. The Mad Claw has no place here. Who are you put to question my place? You follow Chundar into the arms of outsiders. And yet you travel with an outsider yourself. Speak no more. Chundar will decide if you are permitted to enter the Shadowlands. Where is this Wookiee I need to see? Speak with Chundar in the village of Rolapuru. He will decide if you are worthy. Alright, there we go. Now let's get another heal in. Perfect. Moving this way behind us. Excellent. Alright, so moving on along here. We gotta find Chundar. Chundar is Zalbar's brother. Apparently he's the chief now. That sounds ominous. And of course we gotta fight more Kinrats before we get there because there's always more enemies. Alright, there we go. We did a jump attack with the regular attack, and that will fill it up with flurries. Here. Now, at some point, we'll get up here. There he is. Perfect. Here. And then more hits. And come on, get those hits in. There we go. Got the hit in. All right, let's see. Moving this way. And I might need to save load the game. Yes, I do. All right, moving right along. Here's the supply station. Use the Zerka ID card that we got earlier. And that is open, and now we don't have to bash these two metal boxes. Isn't that convenient? Also irrelevant, because it wouldn't have been that bad to bash those boxes anyway. Alright, so now we have our first, one of our first real tests of Force Combat. Ahead of us are three Dark Jedi. So I am going to wait for the Force to recharge, cut it out naturally, and then pick it up from there. Okay, so the Force is regenerated. We're about to fight some Jedi, so the first thing we need to do is Force Resistance. That'll keep their Force powers from hitting us. Next thing we do is uh, Night Speed. That'll get us there quickly. And now we charge forward, and then we fight. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Okay, note the Dark Jedi are wearing masks. They are actually taking coronavirus seriously. You can't really say that about anyone else in the Star Wars universe, can you? Or not the universe, in this game, can you? Lots of people in the Star Wars universe wear masks. Okay, let's get him over here. Zalbar, you're gonna help. And mission, we're gonna have you run yeah. to the back side and shoot them in the back with your blast. Yeah. Okay, she, mission got hit by the Force. And that is why we do uh, the, the Force Resistance for us. What? So there will be no no issues like that where we get hit by the same thing mission. Yeah. Alright. This, this guy's going after mission, the Dark Jedi for some reason. Yes. Because you can always attack the one who is in pain, not the one who is wielding the lightsaber. Very, very smart, Dark Jedi. Very smart indeed. Alright, remains. Alright, here we go. Two short lightsabers. That's what we needed. Remains. All right, and remains. Perfect, okay. Now, is there anything this way? No, but I do need to save load the game. All right, so now, let's see. Let's go ahead and get a, a, a heal in, a cure in, and one more, and one more. All right, now, 
Let's st strip Zalbar of all property. Just in case we need this stuff for some strange reason. All right, there we go. Sure. And now let's walk forward. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's a Wookiee guard. Here we go. Stop where you are, Chieftain. You enter the domain, domain of Chundar, Chieftain and Leader. Stand aside. This human was with me, and I want to access the home of my people. You have no rights here, Mad Claw. This human should not have brought this taint upon our land. You must answer to Chundar. What does this mean, Zalbar? What taint? He means me. I am the taint that you have brought back. Shut up! You are nameless with dishonor, Mad Claw. Yours is the foulness that disgusts me. Enough talk! You and the outcast Mad Claw will be taken to Chundar now. So now we go in. And Zalbar can no longer be a party member for the time being. Let's replace him with Candorus. And let's hit OK. Yes, this is the configuration I want. And here we go. Here we go. Into the, uh, I guess, Council of Chundar. Step forward and address the mighty and wise Chundar outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flanked by Zerker slavers. Are they not outsiders, or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, uh, Brother Zaldar, you've been exiled a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You are a Mad Claw without honor. You have no voice among your own people. I, on the other hand, am Chieftain. If you made deals with the slavers, the truth will get out eventually. You may talk, but no one will believe you. I've had a long time to guide what my people think. They trust me, the mighty Chundar. Even with my brother insane and father enslaved, I rose to protect my people despite it all. Father was enslaved? Mighty Chundar? What are you talking about? You were the runt. I am no runt. Like I said, Zalbar, a lot has changed your years away. We will discuss this soon enough. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I like this. Is there a point you can just go to a fight? Yeah, just get on with it. What do you want? Why drag us here? I haven't killed Zalbar because he is my brother, and I hope he and I can come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. I may be able to put, a, put you to use on a menial task. Zalbar will have to stay here, of course. This explains why Zalbar cannot be in your party. What is this task? A simple thing. Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zalbar, gone mad and been exiled. He now lurks the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerka allies during their Shadowland expedition. It's not good for business. He's standing against you, the first of many, perhaps. No one will follow a Mad Claw. He is merely a nuisance. Besides, he cowers in the Shadowlands. My people know nothing of him. Uh, let's see. I won't do this. Do your own dirty work. You don't have much choice. You can flee the pet planet if you want, but I am keeping Zalvar here with me. He'll stay until the Mad Claw is dead. The Zerker would never let me hold you, but they don't care what I do with my fellow Wookiees. You can't do that! He can't do that, can he? He can't hold Zalbar prisoner just because he's chieftain, can he? I need Zalbar with me as a guide. No, you won't need him to find your way. Over the years, I've had my people trained to understand the basic. I tell them it's to better understand the enemy. They think it will make the Zerker easier to fight. Actually, it makes it easier to obey. Yeah, say that in front of other Wookiee witnesses. I'm sure they don't care at all. Actually, they don't for some reason. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join with an outsider or an exile. You are wrong, brother. Someone would. Yeah, Zalbar, you and me! No, outsider. Zalbar is referring to Freyr, our father. Why, Zalbar? He ordered you exiled when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone. has not been seen since. That was years ago. Let him go, Zalbar. I rule him out. I'll take the Wookiees forward, but there are prices to pay. Don't listen, Zalbor. It's not worth it. No more words, outsider. I've given my orders. I can't hold you here, but Zalbar will stay until you kill the Mad Claw in the Shadowlands. Don't worry, buddy. We'll get you out of here. You can count on us. The guards will let you pass now. Leave the village and... Okay, wait, yeah, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, 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 gotcha. That is just leading you to the same place we already found. We have to go past that... We have to go past the Wookiee that wouldn't let us pass earlier. Well, anyway, so yes, Zalbar is no longer, cannot be a party member until we have finished this part. And this is actually the second time I've done this part. The first time I was trying to post yesterday, uh, it kind of messed up and I have to do it again. And I feel that is enough for today. So for now, we will uh, call it a day. 
and tomorrow we'll pick back up with heading down into the Shadowlands. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel, and any comments are always appreciated. But uh, thank you very much for joining us, and goodbye.